Given the layer of dust accumulated in the square, this door must rarely open. Closed. This lock is solid, but very old. I should be able to force it. Numerous footsteps. Apparently this passage is used frequently. This door was recently reinforced. Impossible to open it. This wheel is in good shape, but it is impossible to remove it. The pin holding it is stuck. This rope seems strong. It is sure to come in handy. cover. No, I can't do that. This trolley seems to be in good condition, apart from the broken wheel, of course. Hmm, look. If we lift a board from this window, we should be able to pass through. But first we have to get ourselves up there. You are joking, Holmes. There. This piece of tarpaulin is very thin, but solid enough for our purposes. But what the devil are you doing, Holmes? There, by sliding this piece of tarred tarpaulin, I was able to quite simply force the lock. Let's go in. Incredible! Closed. These little metal instruments are rather curious. I'll take one. Some makeup applicators. These jars contain chemical products. I have no idea what they are for. There is something here. This door was recently reinforced. Impossible to open it. Now, on to the next step. I will go down alone, Watson. Try to cover for me if someone should happen along. Understood, Holmes. A coffin, recently made and already broken. It's a stretcher that can be dismantled into two pieces. I have to find a way to take it upstairs, I think. I'll be needing it.
pincers. A hammer, I'll take it. This may come in handy. Rings, wedding rings, gold teeth. I don't imagine where they came from. This old box must have held nails a long time ago. Nothing of interest. This may come in handy. Clothing that appears to be destined to be incinerated. A pointed poker. This is sure to come in handy. Closed. Here is an electrical mechanism. Turning the handle should supply it with energy. Ah, it would seem that there is a broken connection. Excellent. Now, on to the next step. This box is broken. The wires must be reconnected. Pray, think. Elementary. That's good, Holmes. I don't know why you brought this thing back up, but I can take it. Perfect, Watson. This bent key just needs a little repair job to make it usable. The fuse box has burned. The lift is blocked. I'll have to find another way out. This may come in handy.
hope that it really is the key to this door. And so, Holmes? This little instrument will serve perfectly as a pin punch. But what the devil are you doing, Holmes? Elementary. But what the devil are you doing, Holmes? This stone was blocking the wheel. This stone was blocking the wheel. Excellent. Now on to the next step. If we lift a board from this window, we should be able to pass through. But first we have to get ourselves up there. You are joking, Holmes. I hope this ladder will support my weight. Let's go. God, Holmes, where are we? For us to find out, my friend, this woman is dead, Watson. Yes, several days ago, Holmes, but the body is perfectly preserved. No odour, no visible decomposition. Look, Holmes, a label from the London Hospital. It must be a corpse stolen from the London Hospital. Strange smell. What do you think, Watson? A zinc chloride solution, without a doubt. A product generally injected into cadavers to help preserve them. Someone made up this corpse. The lips have been coloured and the rings around the eyes carefully camouflaged. Yes, somebody wanted to give the impression of life. To what end? Some makeup applicators. This old photo shows a young man dressed after the fashion of an employee in front of a shop. Amusing. The man in the photo taken in 1883 and the one on Prince Raskolnikov's leaflet are one and the same and no more a prince or a Russian than you or I, Watson. Glass eyes in all shapes and all colours. It's a puzzle box. Let's see if I can open it.
There we are. Magnificent. This square object is very unusual. This letter speaks of a sign of recognition. Interesting. This cheap jewel must be an accessory of some sort. may come in handy. These clothes are new, just like the deceased's dress. I imagine her clothes were changed. Look at this photo. It is inscribed Ethel Broom Street, 1851 to 1878. This young woman who died ten years ago looks like the one stretched out on this table. Watson, this corpse was embalmed and made up and dressed to look like a woman who had died ten years earlier. All is clear, Watson. A charlatan, passing himself as a prince, making the dead come back by using corpses as puppets. Which explains the disappearance of corpses at the London Hospital. It was to fuel this sordid entertainment. Holmes, I hear a cab stopping in the courtyard. Someone's coming. It is probably the dealers, Watson. But instead of running, what if we were to meet them, if we managed to win their trust? You are joking, Holmes. Well then, you best tell me why you're here, otherwise I'll make you talk myself. What you doing there, you? It's private in here. Calm down. We aren't here as tourists. We have come to collect our packet. Oh, well then, you just had to say. I was told that you weren't no tramps, but I weren't expecting that you was... Given your get-up, I guess, your boss. Uh, yes. Yes. Well, the subject ain't ready yet. I ain't done with it yet. You'll have to come back. Well, that's, um, a real problem. I... Say, we have personal orders too, for some organs. You wouldn't know where we can find them. What type of Kidney, uterus. Boy, I don't hack up my dollies. That's the work of an artist. But you wouldn't happen to have a colleague who might furnish this type of item. No, you can't make a copper doing that nowadays. Since the bigwigs made it easy to get stiffs, the medical schools are bursting with bodies to carve up. Docs and students have got all they need. Business is dead. For a few coppers, hospital bloke might help you out, but I don't know for sure. They'd be right in for it if they got caught. It probably just ain't worth it. I understand. And what do you do with the corpses once you're finished with them? Well, I don't bother myself with that. For one thing's for sure. After the seance, they're good for nothing but chucking out. I ain't Napoleon's embalmer. Well, if you'll excuse... He's got a funny way of talking, you. Oi, it's normal. He's a brain, you see. A thinker at that. Seize you round, old man. So, Holmes, 
the corpses that have disappeared from the London hospital are used during seances. Nothing to do with organ trafficking. Yes, it all suggests nothing of the kind is underway in London. In the medical world, all dealings would be visible, not to mention unnecessary. The crook we met confirmed this viewpoint. It's hard to imagine, therefore, that our Whitechapel killer perpetrated these massacres with the goal of selling the organs. What lead should we follow now, Holmes? Try to learn more about Tumblety. This squibby should give us some information, but first I must stop the journalist Tom Bulling from harming him. I hope my secret police will soon have some information on him. While we wait, Watson, I would ask you to inform your colleagues of your recent discoveries. It would be good if these morbid ghostly spectacles stopped, and this will need to be done at the London Hospital. You are right, Holmes. Another false lead followed by the police, Holmes. Yesterday's Times says that a John Fitzgerald who had claimed responsibility for the murder of Annie Chapman has finally been released. He was, it says, lying. Hmm, that's of little importance, Watson. It's incredible. It's been more than three weeks since the murderer struck, and the tension is as strong as ever. The press won't stop talking about him, and people are still full of fear. Perhaps the killer got what he wanted, people talking about him, and has chosen to stop committing crimes. What do you think, Holmes? I doubt it, Watson. Everything leads me to believe that he is in hiding and waiting for the right moment. The area is packed with police, and that would obviously hamper his work. You think he will start again, Holmes? I have every reason to believe nothing will stop him, short of his arrest or his death. Sadly, our investigation has reached a dead end, and I fear that we'll need another victim to get back on track. Yes, how awful. And what of the case of the burnt mat? Have you resolved that? Oh, that's a matter of little interest, and resolving will be of no benefit, above all, to Miss Fleming. Ha! I hear the footsteps of my faithful Wiggins on the stairs. The game is afoot again, Watson. Mr. Holmes, the scribbler resurfaced. At last word, Pounce saw him racing to Central News Agency where he walks. Excellent, Wiggins. And still nothing on the doctor? Sorry, Mr. Holmes. He's one sleek yank, but we'll find him. Good work. Here's something for you. I must leave you, Watson. If I can get my hands on this bullying, I will have much more interesting news on the bothersome tumblety. I have only to change. If you can, Watson, I entreat you to stay here and await my word. We may not be more than two when the time to act comes. You can count on me, Holmes. <laughs>